Well, today we've got Rich Wallens, and he's going to show us a GMC Diablo. Now, to most people, this would look like an El Camino. However, this is a GMC version, and I think you said there's only a 50 of these made, didn't you say? Right, I've got Rich. I've got some stats here. Uh, from 1979 to 1984, <clears throat> only 54 were produced. Uh, other GMC models in the El Camino type class were Laredo, Caballero, and Sprint. Total production for the GMCs through 1971 through 1988 was 74,000 cars. And for the El Camino, 59 through 88, there were 982,000 cars produced approximately. But the outstanding thing about this one is it's an all-original car. Yes. The unique thing about the Diablo is that it was the flagship for GMC Corporation for that particular year. Uh, it had side exhaust. It had a front air dam on it. It has the TikTok pack in it with full gauges, uh, power door locks, windows, and also remote control. And it came also with uh, AM FM stereo cassette uh, radio in it. So it was the most options you could possibly put on a GMC were recorded in the Diablo model. And how long have you had this one, Rich? About 16, 17 years. We bought it from Schulte Chevrolet GMC in South Dakota. We're the second owners, and we've had it uh, roughly 17 years. It has 51,000 actual miles on it and we purchased it with about 20,000 miles on it. What engine options did they have for GMC? Well, this one was a 307 V8, um, and uh, uh, it was basically the same motor that they put in the El Caminos. They ran them, I think, on the same assembly line, the GMC as well as the, the El Caminos, except the GMC, I think, put a little, little better sound insulation in them, and, uh, loaded them up a little bit more. At least the Diablo they did. Yeah, this one is pretty deluxe. And as far as the, uh, any other history you can say about this car? Uh, you, say it, you say it started in South Dakota. Right. It was originally purchased in uh, from Shelty Chevrolet GMC in South Dakota. They, uh, the person that bought it traded it in to get a, a different vehicle. My wife has always liked El Caminos, and uh, we called it her grocery getter. So we uh, we, <laughs> we purchased the car for her. She she drove it through uh, many garage sales and so on, and then it becomes uh, very collectible. And now now it's something we can drive on tours. So it's kind of evolved with our with our family from just a basic car and now into a collectible that we're proud to show and drive on tours. Well, you're, you're sure a good guy, Rich, to buy something like this for your wife. <laughs> well, it's, I'm well trained. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to thank you for showing this car today. Thank you.